Good morning. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm fixing my sock while we talk. It's Thursday and I'm out and about. I'm having a half a day today at work. My sock is tight on my big toe. I'm trying these new socks. They're called Dr. Motion. Um, I love them. They're short sock. I think I showed you when I bought them. Oh, that's it. It got too tight on my toe. I think it just slid when I put my shoe on. And nobody cares. Anywho, so I'm tying my shoe while I'm talking to you because that's a normal person thing to do, right? Um, but I love them. They're like hugs in your shoes. They hug. So they are a compression sock, but they're a no show or a low cut ankle sock. And they, the compression is around the arch of your foot and it gives your arches support. Uh, Dr. Motion is the brand. They come in two packs and I've been paying about, I got two for me and two for Sarah for Christmas. And I've been paying like um, $5.99 for a two pack, which I don't think is bad. I'm getting rid of all the cheapy little kid socks that I have, like the cutie, um, cutie socks they're just they don't last they're not good on my feet they feel funny they slide around in my shoe I'm a grown-up now I'm turning 50 I need real socks I went to Duncan so my <laughs> I'm gonna make you wait but I was over here I've told you before um, for Lane Bryant and Cacique which is their intimate apparel like underwear bras pajamas socks that kind of stuff and then the clothing side is Lane Bryant and then their fitness line is Libby I do test fitting for them but with COVID I haven't done anything since January or February so I just got an email and they need me to test fit something so I that was part of the reason I took a half day and now I'm gonna drive 40 minutes to my county Board of Elections to vote um, but Trader Joe's is over here and I don't get over here fair you know too often but I was running in to see if they had one thing specifically which they don't but it's an advent calendar for my niece's dog but they don't have them in yet but I did pick up a few things I got a bag it's a pretty big bag of honey crisp four pounds for a four four ninety nine $3.99 I'll have to look at my receipt which is probably in here $5.99 Five ninety nine for a four pound bag is not bad, and I need that this weekend. And then I purchased for me some cheese bites. These are like the cheese wisps, oven baked. This is with black summer truffle. Thought I would try it, so I grabbed that. Oh, I got these for Sarah for Christmas. It's a four pack of dryer balls. I love my dryer balls. They are the best at getting my clothes clean. And I thought Sarah needed them. And they were only $5.49. So I'm going to give her this for, you know, just a little Christmas something for her. And then I'll add maybe, um, I don't know, something. It doesn't matter. And I picked up, it was $2.99 bone broth. Zero carbohydrates. And it's a nice handy size container for a single person. Um, a little, man, $2.99. I know the bigger bottles were, or the bigger containers of this at Aldi double this size for about the same price, but sometimes it's easier and better for me to buy smaller. I got organic, completely 100% dark chocolate cacao. People are staring at me. Chocolate chips um, for baking. I wanted to try them. Now they do have 10 carbohydrates per tablespoon, but when you use this, you're typically melting this type of chocolate. It's a baker's chocolate and I wanted to try it. And then I grabbed everything but the bagel seasoning because I am obsessed. I love that stuff. So nothing too major. I spent $22 and I got a Christmas present. Um, I'm not thinking my girl likes she likes to try to be more natural, less chemical, less everything. So I think she'll enjoy those. They also have a shampoo in here that I really like, but I didn't need shampoo right now. But it's um, 
got tea tree in it, it like tingles on your head. Okay, enough with Trader Joe's. The, this is the what you've all been waiting for. So, Cacique underwear line, right? They wanted me to try, it. and the test fitting is to try new products before they put them into production. So, if it's a new design, a new size range that they're running, a new style, a new fit, they typically will do a test fit on it. And I'm on the test fit panel. So, these are like a girdle. That's what they are. Support, you know, they're long. It'll go up all the way. I'm an apple shape. That's perfect. It goes right up to under your, I'm sorry guys if this is TMI, but it goes right up under your boobs basically. Stretchy. Guys. It's a thong. What? It is a thong. What? So when they sent out this test fit, I had to think about it for a minute. I was like, how? How are you sucking it in and letting it hang out all in the same garment? We're going to find out. When I just picked it up, uh, Catherine, she's the woman that runs our panel. I was like, girl, I'm, sc I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared. She's like, just be honest with how they fit, how they feel. I'm like, girl, you know I'm going to be honest, but I'm still scared. All right, let's go vote. Okay, I voted here in Ohio. I don't know how it is where you're at. I sent away for an absentee ballot because I wasn't sure what was going to happen and we only have until a certain date. And then the Lieutenant Governor, somebody, Frank LaRosa of our state, Secretary of State, um, said that we could come in, have our paper ballot voided, voided and I could vote electronically because I was nervous. I'm nervous about my paper ballot. And I just wanted to punch the little buttons. And they gave us these disposable, like, um, thingies for your phone to vote. And I got my sticker. So I have now officially voted for the election in 2020 with all of the elderly people. No lines here. In Columbus. So I'm in Fairfield County voting. In Franklin County, the lines are like hours long. You just gotta do it. Just get out and do it. All right, next stop. I gotta go to the Dollar Tree while I'm in Lancaster, or Lancaster, and I think I'm gonna go to Target. Okay. Hi. Okay, it's Friday night. Don't look at my hair. I just left Costco. Did pretty good. Um, I just needed a few things, but the few things I needed, it was just definitely better to come here. So, I'll go over my little receipt. I spent $51.51. I got the cheese tray, and it comes with four different kinds of cheese, and you get a lot, and it's pre-cut, and I love it. So, I paid $10.69 for that. What I need to do is start stocking up, like, buying two and putting one in my freezer, because I think they only have these at the holiday time. Um, I got some butter, four pounds of butter for $7.39. That's crazy. I'm not sure why the butter prices are so low here, but I will put that in my freezer. Butter freezes perfect. And for less than $2 a pound, I'm on board with that life. And then I got my cheese wisps, which were $9.79. And then the thing I bought was $21.99 is Nordic brand, and it's a three-piece um, baking pans, like the sheet pans, mine are so gross. You've seen them. They're like baked on, gross. So I'm tossing, I have four of those and they're all nasty. So I'm tossing three of them and I'm just tossing them. They're gross. Um, I'm keeping the cleanest looking one of all to cook bacon on because I think that's the culprit. Plus I've had them for a hundred years. So I'm keeping one just to cook bacon on because I do put bacon in my oven, but this, I'm, I'm digressing. This um, tray set, two half sheets, so the big pans, and one quarter sheet was $21.99. That's less than I've seen anywhere. Even at the restaurant stores, the half sheets are like $10 and $12 a piece. So I got two of those and then a smaller one, and I'll use the smaller one a lot. I broil. I should buy a toaster oven, but honestly, I don't have a place on my counter for that stuff. I, I have my coffee stash, you know, all my coffee stuff. So, um, I use my broiler a lot for toasting things and, you know, baking food 
heat food in my oven a lot, but that quarter sheet pan will be the perfect size. But I'll show you, but I, I gotta go home first. And I need to go to, so I have my little shopping list. We finished Costco. I'm doing all this on a Friday night because tomorrow is the cousin party. I'll show you but, oh, here when we get everything set up for our Hocus Pocus party. So that's tomorrow. But I need to get ricotta cheese, mascarpone, some chicken broth, sausage, creamer, coffee, eggs, pork rinds. Not, oh, sheet pans. I bought those. I'm not sure why those were on the list twice. But I need craft paint for tomorrow. So I thought I would stop at Walmart on my way home. Not a favorite store of mine, but I'll go to Walmart because they have craft paints for the kids and I can get most of my groceries and then tomorrow I'll run to Aldi and get the rest. But I'll show you what I bought when we get home. Okay guys, I wanted to show you these pans that I got. That is a quarter sheet pan. And what is that? A cat fur. Okay. Or something. That's a quarter sheet pan. This is going to be perfect when I'm just toasting some... Oh, it's a piece of the wrapper. When I'm just toasting something under the broiler. And then these are the half sheets. So what I'm going to do is take that nasty one that's in my oven now. I need to clean my oven. And I'm throwing them away. So I got this pan. They need to be washed. That's why they're still out too. This one, this one. So two half sheets and a quarter sheet pan for $22. That's a fabulous deal if you have a Costco membership. Um, I'm going to be making some soup. So I have sausage. It's going to be pumpkin sausage soup. Kind of creative, huh? I got it off of Pinterest, so I will try to remember to link the, the recipe, but I'll make it with you. I needed some more garlic powder. I needed bone broth for it. Bone broth has the least amount of sugars. Um, I'm going to be stocked. So I'm trying to freeze, uh, stock up my freezers. I'm going to make some of my breads that I make. So I needed ricotta cheese for that. I needed a fair amount of mozzarella cheese. I'm also making a fathead pizza to take tonight to my cousin. So I needed mozzarella. My soup needed sage and I didn't have any. So I bought some sage and I finally found some ground beef on sale. It was $1.99 a pound, guys. This will make a huge meatloaf, a huge pot of something. I'm going to freeze it, but I'm not going to break it down. Because I have individual one-pound packages, but this will be nice when I want something larger. And I just have a dictums of a time finding ground beef. So this was $5.97 for three pounds. And then my store, uh, they only had seven of these. So I grabbed, they had a couple more, but I couldn't reach them. So I got seven. This is the ice crisp apple. It's not clean. I know it's not a clean ingredient. There's artificial sweeteners in it. I don't care. It's sparkling apple. It's the closest I'm going to get to apple cider and, you know, for sugar-free. And I'm doing it. And that's it. Nanny, nanny, boo, boo. So I bought, I think, six or seven bottles. And I'll just stash them in my fridge. And then um, I'll have them from now until Thanksgiving. I probably will buy some more though, but that's it. I got to get changed because I don't want to get this shirt that I'm wearing all grossed up and we're going to make soup. All right. I changed my clothes. When I cook keto, I try to always wear <laughs> an old t-shirt or something because some of the stuff has grease in it like this. So this is one pound of just sausage cooked. I'm using my pampered chef meat masher um, just so you know did the Dollar Tree one work yep did this one work better slightly yes was it worth $25 probably but it worked so I got all my meat mashed up and cooked now I'm gonna add four cups of chicken bone broth now reading through this recipe it calls for a lot of water to be added and I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, I'm going to add some water, but I'm not adding all the water. Um, but this is organic. I get it at Aldi usually, but I was at a different store today. Or last night when I bought it. I was at Walmart. They were wiped clean at my Walmart. I also want to reduce this for a little while. So I'm kind of going off recipe. But the 
this recipe is, um, if you can read that. What did I do? Something. Oh, just a pepper. Um, it's called Creamy Keto Pumpkin Sausage Chowder. But I want mine a little thicker. So it calls for a pound of pork sausage, cooked, four cups of chicken broth in there, one and a quarter cups of solid packed pumpkin puree. Why did we have to go one and a quarter cup? I know it's for the carbs, but let's see what we have left. We have, well, we've got a fair amount of pumpkin. I'll just freeze it. By the way, pumpkin freeze is good. The only thing I found is the water comes out when it thaws, so I just drain off any of the excess liquid. So there's our pumpkin. Pumpkin can be pretty carby, uh, which is why you don't want to just go overboard on it for this recipe. And then I'm gonna add in our spice blend in my little trick or treat cup. And that is salt, nutmeg, pepper, garlic, powder, onion powder. I've got the three cups of cauliflower in the microwave and it called for fresh minced, uh, minced fresh sage. I couldn't find fresh sage yet. And then the eight ounces of mascarpone, I could not find mascarpone yet either. So I'm going to use cream cheese and go a little lighter on it. But I want this to kind of boil down. I'll add some of the water. Oops. I'm getting the cauliflower out of the microwave. I'm not cooking it. I am just, I was just thawing it a little bit so it doesn't totally bring the temperature of the water down. For three cups I guess that's three cups I don't know this is what I had in my freezer it was just riced collie you could rice your own absolutely it is a colossal mess is what I say I would just prefer to buy it frozen it's just riced cauliflower nothing different so if I spend a couple cents more it's worth it in my life so I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here probably a cup and a half. This was what it called for, three cups. But this is pretty thin to me. I know I haven't added the cheese yet, but still. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil and let it reduce, just so I can get it a little thicker, that's all. You don't have to do that step, I'm going to. And I want all my herbs to kind of wake up since they're all dried. You can use fresh, I just didn't, like I said, I didn't have them. So there, that is where we're at. Oh, and I did add a little touch of cayenne pepper. I thought it would taste good with just a little heat. My sausage was pre-cooked, cooked, so I'm not worried. Hmm, that's tasty. But it definitely needs to reduce, for sure. And what I'm not getting is any of the pumpkin flavor. Hmm. Oh well. We'll let it cook down and see what happens. Uh, next up, I think, well, I've made it for you before is the fat head dough. So I'm gonna make my pizza dough. All right, friends, this is everything I made for my freezer. Well, for tonight too. This is a pizza crust with fat head. It's stuck, but that's okay. I'll just put a couple pepperonis. <laughs> over that spot and then put the sauce down um so i made that these are some breadsticks with the same dough that i use for the rolls this is called rolls without rolls by christy sullivan um it is a paid for recipe so i can't share it with you but you can i think it's going to be in her next cookbook here is my pumpkin sausage soup this is for the week that's about three servings and i three or four I have some breadsticks to go with it so one breadstick about a cup cup and a half of soup and then I have these are double servings and those are going to go in the freezer with these rolls and there are 13 rolls and some more of the breadsticks that are going to go in my freezer so simple so that's a good couple nights dinner just grabbing the soup in the winter time all right let's get moved oh we also have 
caramel sauce. Guys, don't make caramel for dipping apples with kids. It's craft caramel. This is two bags. I have it in the crock pot on high. As soon as it melts, I'm gonna add some heavy cream. Stir it up, creamy caramel. I'm taking it with me. Oh. All right, I thought I would take you on a tour of my fridge or freezer outside. Got a couple blocks of sharp cheddar, two things of Nathan's hot dogs. This was not for me. I need to give it to my brother. It's got preservatives and stuff, but it was a super good sale. And then in here, I bought ooh, this chicken. It was a two pack from Costco and I have one pack left. Here's my butter stash. I mean, it is on such a good deal and it freezes so well. I may go buy one more four pack and call it. There's ham, that's just some cheese, some of my nut flowers and broccoli. Then down here, I've got a box of cookies that I use to make brookies for people and I just wrap it in cellophane. Two racks of ribs that are not cooked. I just put my rolls in there. In here, oops, sorry, I have some pumpkin and some broth. That was a uh, gallon jug was just to take up space uh, when my freezer was empty. So I may take that out and use it when we travel. Here's five pounds of ground beef. I have three pumpkin sausage soups in the back corners, two chili, and that's chicken curry. And then right back there's a bone broth, beef bone broth. That was what was left when I made some soup. I have a whole turkey that's going to my cousin. He and I are gonna smoke it. This is um, pork belly and then two boxes of it that I need to eat. We have, this is all like just what's left of some ground beef that I purchased and bacon. I think there's four pounds of bacon in there, maybe five. Oh, I don't, ooh, let's hold it up right there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six pounds of bacon. We don't need any more bacon for a while. I need to get this out and eat it too. It's a shrimp ring, some cauliflower wraps, and that's all chicken wings and thighs. I just bought this five pound, uh, three pounds of ground beef and then that's some queso. Oh, and some chocolate that I use in baking when I'm baking for people, but that's it. So hopefully we'll get some more prepared food in here for the winter time. I just enjoy being able to come out here and grab it and go. All right, let's get moving. The black candle. The black flame candle. The what? <laughs> <laughs> you get a little zoom in action. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Sunday night. It's 5:15. I am. I made some shortbread cookies for the week, so I'm just cutting up the dough. Um, by that dough I mean it's a recipe I found on Pinterest like most of my stuff it's two and a half cups of almond flour six tablespoons of butter three quarters of a cup of sweetener you can do vanilla uh, but I chose to put some maple extract in mine Ugh, I'm a mess today I have been running around doing all the things um, so I made these cookies, the, do the dough, it comes out very crumbly like sand, like wet sand that you can get together. And now I'm just cutting them. Um, I do stick this in the freezer or the fridge or freezer for a good 20 to 30 minutes to, um, set up the butter because honestly that's what's going to hold these together while they bake and it makes it so I can just transfer them to the baking sheet. Speaking of, I am loving my new baking sheets. If it's in the budget for you, I highly recommend grabbing them. Now I saw the same brand, the Nordic, sorry for the noise in the background by the way, that's my dishwasher. The Nordic wear, um, 
on Amazon, $22 just for the two sheet pans. So you didn't get the little quarter sheet. Still a good deal. I feel like for a half sheet, anything under um, $10 for a sheet pan is going to be a good price point. I That's what I think. I mean, what do I know? I don't know much, but I think for me, that's a good price point. Like I'm willing to pay that. <laughs> oh, I got so much done today. I was going to bring you along, but then I was just in the, in the zone. Um, I finished transferring winter and summer stuff around, which is always a good thing in my life. I was brutal with the purging of like sweaters and just, I'm making room here on my tray, just things that I don't necessarily have to have a hundred of, you know? I love to shop, we all know that. But, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing. So I purged a lot of like socks. I need to stop buying cheapy socks. I, I like a comfortable sock, so so there's that. Take it for what it's worth. I have cleaned up down here. I got the vacuum running, or ran the vacuum, I should say. And I dusted a little bit. I was watching the football game, the Cleveland Browns play a little bit I watched I'm not gonna tell you I watched the whole thing because I there's only so much one can take of that mess in my in my uh, Patriots I don't get on the channel here most of the time come on no I'm gonna take a fork not that one it's bent I mean I'm gonna take a fork and I'll show you well I'm talking over here and I just poke a hole in the dough and then these are gonna go in the oven someday I will learn to cut things uniform you know but just want to hold everything in one piece poke it I think it's for looks to be honest but what do I know again okay so they're done. These are going to go in the oven. We'll say 15, 20 minutes for now. Yeah, so I'm running the dishwasher. You can hear it. Got my kitchen all tidied up. Now I'm going to wipe down my countertops. The fun thing about this dough, there's no eggs in it. It's almond flour, butter, and sweetener. You can eat it raw. It's not bad. Mm, I'm liking that all the um, maple flavor. I have made them before with some almond. I have made them with lemon. That's really fun in the summertime. So, I'm just trying to get my house together for the week. Also, I had you saw some footage of my little party last night with my young cousins. Oh, the kids had so much fun. The movie was fantastic, as always. So yeah, I'll show you what the cookies look like when they come out of the oven. I will be, um, soon I will start baking for the holidays and freezing cookies and things like that for me. And then I will be baking regular stuff, non-keto foods to share, like cookies mostly, to share with my family. All right, I'll show you when they come out of the oven. Okay, here's our cookies. They're done. They only took 15 minutes. Um, some of them are a little browner, but that's fine. They have to completely cool in there, so I'll just leave them there for a while. It's time to feed the boys their dinner. I mean, it's 4.30? No. 5.30. So, here. The boys have to have their dinner. They each share one of these 
in the morning and in the evening. And then some days Wellington, because he's my little guy, he, do, he doesn't eat a lot. Um, and he's kind of given up on the hard food. I'll give him a half a can at lunch, but it's like a tablespoon. Um, for Alex, trust me, that's plenty. For Wellington, I throw a couple treats on top just to encourage him to eat a little more of it. Get some more calories. He's a little skinny mini. And then I need to try this. I have a video coming up. And this is a dietary supplement. It does have four carbohydrates, but it's greens, which is good for you. Two fiber, four carbs, three protein, some sodium. It's plant-based, but I'm going to try it. Um, I have a sponsored video, not sponsored, they sent it to me to try. So I'm going to try it. We'll see about all that. They're shenanigans, right? I need to make myself a glass of water. I need to let these cookies do their thing. One of them, I'll show you if I can pick it up. One of them is clean crisp. I can smell it. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's burnt, but that color, that'll crisp up. So these have a while. Like I said, it's 530. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner. And then I did have a question. Would y'all be interested in a what I eat in a day on keto? I don't I don't know if that's a thing. I watch those videos. But I'm not sure if y'all would like to see something like that. So we'll, if you do, comment down below. Let me know. And I can record something of that nature. Because, you know, I do that every day. Eat. <laughs> Alright, everybody. I hope you have a great week. And I will talk with you later. Bye.